Go mana, go mana. Welcome back to this channel, I'm Carolyn. I'm actually really, really excited for today's video. I kind of got this idea like last minute. I was watching a TikTok and a girl posted a video of her painting with her cats. And I know that like sounds weird right now, but I'm going to explain. So she bought like mini canvases and put paint on top of the canvas, put it into a Ziploc bag and then poured like a little bit of catnip on top and then the cat obviously will start rubbing up on it creating a mural a little a little painting obviously the point is to like have a cool i don't know what how to describe it it's just like a sloshy picture but it looks cool we're gonna see how cute of a painting mana can make i have faith in her i feel like she's very creative maybe i don't know we'll find out but i'm gonna head over to Dollar Tree right now because I was in Dollar Tree the other day and they have a brand new craft section like how do they have crafts now and they're all for one dollar they have paint and canvases I thought that was insane I think that's crazy fun so yeah I'm just gonna head over to Dollar Tree right now pick up the items head back and we'll get this show on the road everyone i got a lot i got i spent a total of 14 dollars i bought four canvases i got four of them all of them are six by eight i thought i'd help spice up mana's paintings with some stickers i got two types of gemstone stickers like stars and butterflies and then i got these butterflies some of them look wonky, look at that guy. <laughs> but I thought these would be cute to spice up my nest paintings. Um, for the colors, okay, so they had like multiple brands of paint, but brands didn't carry the same color. So like one brand had pink and the other one didn't. So I'd have to like mix, mix and match brands. So from one brand, I got pink and brown. I got brown because I really want Mana to make like a, a cute painting for my room. Because you guys know. If you guys know, you guys know. And then from this brand, I thought this was pretty cool. They're like glittery, like they're metallic. So I got metallic blue and green and then a literal gold paints so i was like ooh, that would really like pop in the painting you know and then from a, another random brand i got a white oh, i'm so excited i feel like i can't wait to mix and match colors and create something super cool i'm gonna head in prepare everything and we'll get started i'll see you in a second okay we have our artist here Ugh. mana can you say hi can you say hi mana <laughs> Mana, say hi. Okay. We have her catnip. I wonder if I let her smell it. Whoa. Okay. She knows what's going down. Go. Two. And that's four. Mama, do you like these stickers? She likes them. <gasps> she likes it. Okay. I think... Sorry, Mana. Okay, Mana. Which color first? Okay, I think for the first one, I want to do for my room. So I think I'm gonna do brown, green, white, and a splash of gold. I think that's what... What are you doing, girl? Hey, girlfriend. Can you stack? She's playing with the Ziploc bag now. No, she's biting it. Mana, this is for the paint. You going crazy. Go, Mana. Go, Mana. Hey, wait, you can touch this bag after you start painting. How much brown should I do? Like, what's my room look like? I think I want more green than brown, so I think I'm gonna just do a squidge. Mana. Maybe I can do it closer on the camera. I know it has to be like a lot of paint because it needs to like move, if that makes sense. 
Okay, I think I need more brown. I kind of like how the brown just kind of dollops on. I think a little bit more green. Okay, I think that's gonna look really cute. Why do I kind of feel like that's not enough? Okay, a little bit more green, everyone. A little bit more brown. A little bit more white. A little bit more gold. Okay, now I think that's gonna like mix really well. Okay, bag number one. Okay, so I messed up. I should have put the label on the other side so you could actually see the design as it mixed, but I'll do that for the next ones. Mama Catnip, she about to get crazy. Look, Catnip Mama. I feel like she's gonna be scared to like step on it. Nope, she doesn't care, she stepped on it. <laughs> Okay, well, she goes through this. <laughs> We're gonna start on the second one. Are you okay? Did I give you too much catnip? Okay, next colors. I wanna go in with pink. And I want to do like a splash of white. I like how I said a splash and I do a whole drizzle. And then blue so that it kind of gives like cotton candy vibes and like creates like a pink blue and purple image. I think I will do a splash of gold because I kind of like how it turned out in the green one. I think that's gonna look cute. Do I need more? Okay. Canvas number two in the back. This one I want to do like spiral. Yeah, that's a spiral. That looks cool. It will do. And again, this one I will do a drizzle of white. The blue and green are already metallic, so I feel like the gold might might be a tad too much. Last one, let's get into it. I don't know what colors to do. Should I do all the colors? I think I'll do that. I think I'll do all the colors. Like that. And then pink circles like that we're doing like abstract art now i did that with the green maybe i'll put the gold in the middle of the pinks this one kind of looks cool that's what we're working with number four is in its bag i need to sprinkle catnip now let's call the queen okay she's arrived come on mana Look, Mana, I've put some fresh catnip over here. Oh, she looks so done with me. Mana, come here. Good catnip. Do your thing, girl. Let's get some close-ups. So I kind of feel like Mana's given up. Go, Mana. Go, Mana. Now let's do I didn't really think this through. I don't know how they're supposed to dry. Like there's so much paint that they're really soggy. So I don't know how long it's gonna take to dry. Maybe it'll take like an hour or maybe it'll take overnight. I'm not sure. What I do know is that Mana's very tired. She's given up. She won't do it anymore. But overall, they look pretty cool. And I, I want them to dry so I can put the stickers on them, make them even cuter, and then I can put them around the house. So far, they look pretty dang cute. This is what we're working with. 
I really like this one. This one gives me like mermaid vibes. That's cute. This is the one I want for my room. I think that's cute. This one gives me like tie-dye vibes, which I love. I think that's really cute. This one, and then this one kind of just, it gives off like tie-dye vibes, but the brown kind of makes it look murky. So I'm gonna pull them out right now out of their bags and I'm gonna let them dry. And then Mama and I will be back. Okay, we're back with an update. So I let the paintings dry overnight it's been like 24 hours and i think this is my fault i shouldn't have put so much paint in the bag because they are not drying i'll show you one so this is the first one we did i this one actually came out really cute i really like this one but i don't know if you can tell okay you can't tell well maybe a little bit it's not drying it has so much paint some of it is dry and some of it is not so I think like with another 24 hours or maybe even 48 hours, they'll be completely dry and then I can put on the stickers, but I can't even do that today. So I'll just show you the final designs of how they're drying and, and like my ideas of how I'll put stickers on them. So obviously this one is going to be for my room. I think I might add a few little gold stars throughout this. I feel like that'd be cute. I think this is my top two. Let me get three and four. These are my least favorite. I think this is number three for me and this is number four. I don't know what's going on here. It kind of looks scary. I think for this one, I might add like a big star, like this top one to lighten it up. Yeah, I feel like the stars would look the best with this. I don't know. This one is number three for me. I think it's cute. I like, I like the blend. This one's pretty, but I feel like there's too much blue going on, too little pink. It could have been better if I had added a bit more pink in my opinion. For this one, since it does have like pink and blue, I'm gonna add these butterflies. I might do like two butterflies. I really like this blue butterfly. I don't know if it's gonna blend in too much to the background. I don't know, we'll see. You won't see because this video will be up by the time these dry. My top favorite, my ultimate favorite painting Mana made for me is this one. I feel like I get such huge mermaid vibes with this. It just looks like, I don't know, it looks so pretty. I love the green and blue. Uh, I, I feel like you can't even, but do you guys see what I mean? That it's like still wet, it still kind of glistens. So I think in the next day or two, it should dry and I should be able to decorate it. For this one, I want to add these white butterflies for this. And I might add some stars, like the, the small ones. I don't know, let me know down below. Maybe by the time you guys comment, I'll barely be decorating it. So <laughs> I think overall, Mana did great. <laughs> I think she did so good. I think this is such a cute activity to do. I would recommend it, but change two things. Don't use so much paint. Number two, only do one or two paintings with your cat. As you guys saw, Mana was fed up after the second one. She did not want to do any more. So I think stick to one or two just so your cat isn't like super bored after a while. I 100% will do this again because I can't wait to just have these around the house and I can't wait for people to be like, oh my gosh, did you make that? And I can be like, no, my cat made that. But I think that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how you think this girl did. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Also, let me know if you guys want other videos with my nap because that can definitely happen. <laughs> Who knows if she'll cooperate, but let me know. I feel like they're fun. I feel like she's sometimes willing. That's it for this video. I post every Sunday, so I'll see you next week. Bye.